Greetings, my friends! I want to thank you all for subscribing. I want to thank all of my channel members for supporting me in this endeavor to save pop culture. And if you are not subscribed, please consider supporting this channel. We need you. Thank you. My friends, welcome to part one of a shockingly hilarious expose by a friend of mine, a YouTuber who recently attended the Disney Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel. What you're about to see is part one of a lengthy, detailed, and exclusive interview in which finally the truth behind this vacation disaster was revealed by someone who witnessed the events with his own eyes and is going public exclusively on my channel. I have known Knight for quite a while, and I know he's not the kind of guy to exaggerate or make up anything, so as incredible as what you're about to hear sounds, I do believe that Knight's account is absolutely true, though the experience was so bad it can at times be difficult to believe. That said, Knight attended with a number of other people, one of whom is working now to offer his own report on the trip, which should verify Knight's account. So get ready to have your mind blown. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Here's what actually happens at the Disney Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel. Greetings, my friends. I am Dictor Van Doomcock, the future ruler of Earth, and I am joined here today by my fellow YouTuber Knight, who has a great channel of his own. He's just starting out, and I'm hoping that by the end of this, you guys will be subscribing to his channel. He has come before us today, having made the ultimate sacrifice. And by ultimate sacrifice, I mean that he forked over the dough to go and see Disney's Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel. And he has a tale of horror, disappointment, and fear and loathing to share with us all today. I am very excited to hear a first-hand account by somebody who actually went to this thing, the whole experience start to finish, and Knight has generously consented to share his tale of woe with us here today. Knight, welcome to the channel, my friend. Welcome to the show, and thank you for your sacrifice, your service, in going ahead and going into the belly of the beast, uh, the darkest Mordor itself, to uh, ascertain the, the truth at last about Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel. So you survived, Knight. Let's just get that out of the way. You survived, correct? Yes, and I believe there is a there is a movie quote that could not be more adequate is you can't handle the truth. <laughs> but I still I still want it. Uh, if I laugh oh, at yeah, any mortal thing it's just that I may not read I and I, I, I thought of that. <laughs> But I tell you what, if you if you pay uh, six thousand dollars to go to this thing, then you can't handle the truth either. Which is that you basically are out of six thousand dollars and have yeah. nothing to show for it except egg on your face, maybe a little green milk on your lip, and a five dollar piece of gum. Uh, so, night. How how was Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel? I don't know if they could have missed the boat or the the what they were going for just by a larger margin than what they did if either they were trying to do it this badly or they were just complete screw-ups for lack of a better word but when you when you walk into the spaceport and i know where the spaceport is you get this spiel and it's you know, welcome, welcome to the spaceport. Da, da da da. There will, as soon as you walk on the ship, there will be no pictures allowed. There's no filming allowed, and it gives you this. And they do enforce it. And I will get into that later. And there's other stuff that they tell you. You know, for your enjoyment, because of we want to make sure everybody is in inclusive and in this and that for the immersion because this is going to be a unique Star Wars experience and we don't want any that's one reason why they didn't want you to have a phone so you know they finally open up the door for you to enter the transport which is you can tell it's a box truck you can tell there's no mistaking it you have three <laughs> three rows on both sides in a little row down the side of it and 
I can see this being an issue eventually, especially like if you're a heavy set person, you're not getting on this thing. Like there's no way you could get down it. You might sit on the back roads. Night, okay. th that is the greatest endorsement I've ever heard for obesity. So basically, <laughs> if you are, are, are too big, you can't get on there and you save oh, no. yourself the, the horrific experience oh. that you're about to I describe. I haven't even gotten to the rooms. Trust me, it gets worse or better depending <laughs> on how you look at it. And, you know, you sit down and once everybody sits down, you get the blue captain, which I am convinced, especially after being on this, that they stole this blue captain from Mass Effect. Like the, the blue, the thought of her being blue. I'm convinced of it because there's, there's little tidbits that's, they, you can tell they took from other video games or other franchises and mixed into it, including Star Trek, Halo. There's it's just little things. And I know I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but I wanted to get that in there before I forgot about it. And she sits down and basically gives you the exact same spiel that you heard in the spaceport, almost word for word. And, you know, and then you buckle up your little seatbelt and they whatever now i know because i'm i know this area fairly well let's just say that i know how far it is from the spaceport to the star cruiser and it shouldn't have took bare minimum i mean just traffic and everything 20 30 minutes we rode around for 45 almost an hour and I'm going, this guy's going in circles, or whoever was driving is going in circles. They got to be. Why anyway, is that? Why I do you think I that was? They, well, that, I, well, on the, like you have a 32 inch screen on the front mm -hmm. of your, of the, where you're looking at, I guess, where you can see out, and you see planets go by, and it's, you know, and it shows you going past uh, different little planets, and then you go into hyperspace. And when you come out of hyster space, you're sitting here and you're like flying around. And that's what it looks like on the screen. Okay. And I guess it's to give you the idea that you're flying through space. And then you dock to the space cruiser. You get off and you are and you get into a line. And on your ticket, and I didn't notice this at first until we got on the ticket, I mean on board, and you're sitting here looking, it's cut. You have a color at the top. One is red, and I know somebody else's was blue. And it didn't dawn on me exactly at that point what was going to happen. That is important. When you go up to the front, you you know you don't even have to present them your ticket. You just hold up the edge where it's red or blue. And if you're red, you go one to one side of the hall. And if you're blue, you go to the other side of the hall. You, you have two halls. Uh -huh. Then... The red side is the first order, dark side. The blue is the rebel side, light side. So, there so basically, you're you're saying uh, that you're you're artificially designated to either be on the first order side or the side of the republic, right. exactly. and you don't actually get to choose. Oh no, 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 no! You, you, it's I get. I, and this is just me guessing it's random like what your tickets you buy like they fill up one two three four there's there's so many rooms in a block like on both sides of the hall and i right. figure you get one two three four and then they go to the other side of the hall one two three four to where it's even because it, even though all the rooms weren't full and if i had to guess because i didn't see that side of the hall i'm just going off of what i saw it. We weren't allowed on the blue side. I don't know why. But, that, but that's absurd. I mean, listen, this is supposed to be a family vacation, right? I mean, with, with kids and everything. Well, but right. what if what if your kid wants to, you know, be a Sith and he's stuck on the, you know, Republic side? Or what if, right. like, the kid wants to be a Jedi Knight and he's stuck hanging out with the dastardly First Order? don't matter i'm telling you whatever tickets you're you got is where you're stuck at but what if the kid is a star wars fan and hasn't got a place on either side because none of this is really star wars 
<laughs> right? Well, my God, this is terrible. Go- I can't get over this. Because to a lot of kids, it would make a difference. I don't know. I know. That's what I'm saying. I mean, and, and I'm going to say this a lot. It's it, depending on your outlook of the situation. It either gets a whole lot worse or it gets better. So I'm telling you, this is just the beginning. You get to the room and all. And while there again, I didn't, you know, go in every room and the hall, our hall wasn't even it was barely half full. Like there was plenty of empty rooms behind us and you can't get in those, you know, and you walk by, you can look in. Every room looked identical. And the beds, like if you're, if you're six foot plus, your feet's hanging off the end of the bed. Like the bed is designed basically for your average height human being. Like they took the average height and made a bed for that. And you can't extend it. And it's like, it's wide enough for two people. And if you roll, you're, you're on the floor. Well, it, did they do that because the cabins are so damn small? That, oh, yeah. That they the couldn't fit in a un- big bed? They're unreal small. I'm talking about, they are, there's, there's like a dresser for, like, you've got four drawers. You have your dresser. You have the person, you know, that person dresser. I recommend you pack light. You pack very light. And you bring a book back. Ooh. And then when you, you know, when everything is getting ready, they will bring you a, it's, it's basically an iPad, but it's not, it's not that nice. It's some off brand, but I'm going to call it an iPad just because everybody knows what that is. It's in a black case. It's got, um, start Mickey, Mickey, but only he's that got dark or uh, he's in a Jedi suit on it. And it's kind of cute. And I'll give it that much. And, this thing has got your itinerary on it like it's got where you're going to do where you're going to be and this this was my biggest problem with the whole thing from the moment you get in that room to the time you leave that that room to go home you are on a time schedule the only thing that isn't on your schedule is bathroom breaks but although it is whenever it's time to like change events it will say strongly recommend you go take care of any personal i can't remember exactly the word and they used and i'm just because it, it just pissed me off more than anything because and i i mean i just hate something like that because everything's so controlled and it makes you feel like you're back in school or something but yeah anyway. that doesn't sound like a lot of fun night because oh, you, you go on this vacation you don't have an option about which side you're gonna be on you get crammed in a little room that's like got a tiny bed in it because they can't afford to waste the space on a bigger bed so that a gentleman uh, over you know of, of six feet or, or bigger can't even like have his feet you know, uh, entirely in the bed. And what the hell kind of vacation is it when you cannot even take family photos on your vacation? What do you say, oh, Knight? That, is that a great vacation? That, that's, that's simple. The reason they don't want you taking any, they claim it's so you don't spoil anything, which is complete bull crap. It's just so, cause every room you go into, no matter where you go, there's bare minimum three people with a camera and they're there there. You can take pictures in front of like, there's like posters here, you know, spattered different places. And those pictures are, uh, I think 90 bucks a pop. <laughs> so, so they are taking your pictures for you and you basically mm-hmm. are going to wind up buying the iPhone worth the pictures if you take a lot of them because i mean it's going to cost you 90 bucks a pop for a picture are you out of your mm-hmm. mind i mean well, you're not out of your they mind get, but are they they get they get way more expensive that's that's these are cheap ones oh my god day, day it, two day two is day two I mean, wait just wait just wait till we get to talk about money <laughs> day two is oh it's just we just disbelief of just how they were dealing with everything but anyway and you get, you know, they don't give you very long to unpack. You, you know, you get there, you get kind of so many blocks go first, so many blocks go second. And I guess it's, I guess it's blue, red, or however they do it like that. I really didn't pay that much attention to it because we were in our rooms. And 
they un- <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to get through a lot of this without laughing. Go, go ahead, no laugh. Go ahead. Don't worry about and, it. And you want to uh, get some joy we, out of this worthless we, trip. We, we we got to the you know me and my friends, which I was with friends my age. You know they were bribed into going to this, and um, we got to the first room. You know, and it's like basically just a room full of tables i mean there's nothing special about it and there's a there was a lot of odd stuff about this place you sit down and we're sitting here talking and the blue c- captain is back on the screen going through whatever plus you really couldn't hear them their mics were pathetic like it was like they went to walmart and bought that little speaker and was talking and you could barely hear them wow. so we I mean, and that was one thing that we couldn't hear to begin with. And then we were sitting there talking amongst ourselves, and I can't remember what the guys were talking about. And there's these, you know, these little square pieces of paper in front of us. And I'm sitting there looking. I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm like, no, this thing, this can't be true. And I picked up one and looked, and there was a bunch of numbers on it, and I busted out laughing. <laughs> Are they they about to make you play space bingo or something? One of my friends, what are you laughing at? And I said, dude, this is about to get, oh my God, they're about to make us play bingo. (laughs) And and probably my best friend I've ever had. He looked at me and went, what? (laughs) And I I flipped it over. I said, look at that. And then, and at the top of the page, you can't read the writing. But if you watch uh-huh. Bubba Fett, you recognize the writing. It's Huddies. And uh-huh. but it's still it's still five letters. So <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm sitting here going, I'm telling you guys, we were about to play bingo. <laughs> and it wasn't long after the blue captain went off the screen, the little attendants and they and all the attendants are in basically the same uniform except they're different colors they're they're blue they're white and they look like first order outfits but they don't have all the you know like you know like the what rank they are stuff like that and sh- they come down and they were handing us these big pins <laughs> and I, oh, I was like, <laughs> i'm like Six thousand dollars to play to play bingo, <laughs> and sure enough, he started. And and to their credit, they were using the hut, you know what it was in hoodies, and that's about as much credit as I can give them. And we sit there and played about five games worth. Oh and I'm God. sitting here going, "Oh no, it gets worse." I'm oh, it you, can't it gets get worse. worse. You're so, oh, you can't no. it can't get worse. Just wait. Worse? How could it get any worse than Space Bingo? You pay $6,000 for this vacation and you get to play Space Bingo? Be sure and tune into part two of this expose because believe me, my friends, it actually does get worse. Please subscribe and click the notification bell because you won't want to miss what comes next. And for all of my previous subscribers, check to make sure you're still subscribed. YouTube is aggressively unsubscribing people right and left, as other YouTubers can attest. So please check and make sure you are still subscribed. There is a decent chance that you might not be. From the center of the earth, this is Dictor Van Doomcock bidding you all, my friends, stay angry. Ha 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 